Tonight, a global outrage. The world waiting and watching, hoping that an innocent dog will not be put to death tonight in Northern Ireland. Meet Lennox, a sweet family dog who never attacked anyone, but may be put to death just because he happens to look like a pit bull. A legal battle has raged for two years with hundreds of thousands of people all around the world, including celebrities and politicians, desperately trying to save this one dog. Despite all that, Lennox could be killed any moment now. Uh, straight out to my very special guest, Victoria Stilwell, host of TLC's It's Me or the Dog. Uh, Victoria, this is an absolute outrage. I know you have made this your cause. Tell me why and what you've done to try to save this dog's life. We have been trying to get in touch and get a meeting with the Belfast City Council to help find another solution. This, uh, the Dangerous Dogs Act that has been in England now for 20 years and in Northern Ireland has shown to be ineffective and not really getting to the real problem of dangerous dogs. Lennox was not a dangerous dog, but he was taken from the family just because of the way he looked. He is, in fact, he's an American Bulldog lab mix. But unfortunately, Belfast City Council have refused to move on their stance. He, Gil, Lennox has now been found to be guilty of being a pit bull type and is going to be put down in a few hours. And Victoria Stilwell, this dog has not bitten anyone, it was with the family, seven years old, never hurt anyone. They come in because of the UK's dangerous dog and they rip this dog away from the family. And then this global outrage, I cannot tell you how many emails and Facebook posts that we have received, people begging me to do this story, and we're doing it tonight. And I got to say that this is why I am an animal rights activist, because animals need to have rights. They cannot be treated as mere property. Look at this innocent creature that they're going to put down. Victoria, should this become a rallying cry for all the dogs who exist because of human problems, forgetting to spay and neuter, being too lazy to spay and neuter, or breeding for profit? Yeah, and I think it's also, you know, irresponsible dog ownership as well, breeding these kinds of dogs to be, to be vicious, to be aggressive. You know, Lennox is just a family pet, and uh, Lennox was taken through no fault of his own, but just because of the way he looked. This is the Dangerous Dogs Act at its very, very worst. And breed-specific legislation is everywhere now, and it's coming to the U.S. as well. It's already in a few cities in the U.S., and innocent dogs are being taken away from their families. This is what I have against this because I don't think it's addressing the real problem of dangerous dogs. I am all for keeping the public safe, but any breed of dog can be dangerous in the wrong hands. And uh, we need to be looking at the deed and not the breed. And Lennox, for me, this whole story, Lennox is the poster child for this story because this has got to change. Otherwise, more innocent dogs are going to be taken away from their families and their families are going to suffer because believe you me, the Barnes family have been...